The Foundation for a Drug-Free World is helping teens, it's helping our nation, it's helping everybody because it's shining a light. The fact that we have a public health crisis in this country where over 70,000 individuals lost their lives uh, to you know, opioid overdose and over 160,000 when you throw in alcohol, we have a public health crisis and this foundation is shining a light and saying enough is enough, we need help and we need it now. Nassau County is the top five region when it comes to heroin abuse and when it comes to drug addiction. Uh, Quite frankly, it's, it's, it's alarming because we're seeing individuals from the North Shore to the South Shore, from the Queens border to the Suffolk border, taken from us far too soon. So unless we move in unison and unless we move in an indefatigable manner to say enough is enough, uh, we're going to continue to see a downward trend and we're going to continue to see young people taken from us before their time. Right now, more importantly than ever, we need to bring in stakeholders from all across the spectrum. Young people, senior citizens, uh, teachers, clinicians, healthcare professionals, everybody. We need to bring them together like we're doing tonight to talk about the current epidemic that's facing this nation and how we move forward. This foundation is doing it. I support the Foundation for a Drug-Free World because of the exceptional work that they're doing and continue to do. And I know that as long as they shine a light, that we need help in this nation, we need to fight this epidemic with everything that we have, uh, I'm always going to be an ally of the Foundation for a Drug-Free World.